Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, my friend, I greet you. Uh, my name is Christina Coleman. Uh, today we are going to uh, have English show and we are going to talk about many things going on in Europe, UK especially, but also we are going to learn about discernments. Uh, we are going to talk about God's judgments, which is coming upon the the earth and we are going to pray mm, hallelujah let's humble ourselves before god and pray hallelujah holy father i ask you to glorify your name i ask you uh, to come and visit us and talk to us i ask you to reveal great and mighty things to us i ask you to hear to touch and to solve our problems in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, my friend. As we talk right now, you probably have seen it in the news, but we hear and we can watch. And uh, in the UK, uh, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson has resigned. When I see things like this, I shake and I tremble. When I see things like this, it causes me to cling, cling, cling to God. This is the time to cling to God. This is the time to walk in the truth fully. Don't mix, Don't mix truth and lies. This is the time to work with people who work in the truth. Wrong association will bring you down the wrong path and into the pit if we do not pay attention. This is not the time to make mistakes. This is the time to move slowly and to move after you have prayed, not just follow the crowd. There's a time in the history of the world, we need to be careful who we follow, who we associated with. I have seen this judgment coming upon Boris Johnson. If you follow my, uh, my uh, Facebook post, I put the date where I say, now you're going to see the judgment of UK like never before. Starting the month of June, uh, around the 20th, I kept screaming. I kept saying, don't do it. Mr. Prime Minister Boris Johnson, he made a plot against refugees and him and many people around him, they decided when refugees get to UK, they are going to send them where? To Rwanda. Rwanda, right now, it's like a hell on the earth. Many of you do not know what is going on. It's a small country. Let me tell you what is going on. But it's very hard to describe because there's so much the activity of the devil going on in this country. Right now, as we talk, I just spoke to a family where the government killing machine, they do have a department where they spend millions of money and that this uh, department, they spy on you uh, they, they, they follow the anyone who opposes them. It doesn't matter if you're in uh, United States, if you're in Europe, if you're in Australia, all over the world, wherever their opposition members are, they send spies, they send people with poison to kill them, they send people with guns, and they kill people all over the place. So as we speak right now, there is a family of how many people, seven or eight people, they just spoke to me. 
the whole family, uh, the relative of that family that spoke to me, the president who kills people, who support that department, who puts lots of money in that department, they sent the killing team, the murdering bands, and they have destroyed the entire family of seven people. They killed them. Now, this is one incident I know. What about the incidents that I do not know? So, this is a government that is intentionally killing people. When Christians rise up and prophesy and say this is wrong, they put them in mental health. They say, you're hearing voices. But you're lucky if you're able to go to a mental health because many times they kill them even before they reach mental health. This is a government that is kidnapping people. They just kidnapped Ruse Sabagina, Poro Ruse Sabagina, which, who is a hero uh, who play, who, who, who made the movie Hotel Rwanda. They kidnapped him, they took him to the country. They are kidnapping people left and right. This is a government whose king destroy his own people. However, he is most loved by many people who do not even know what he's doing. By shedding blood, he is able to blind people and to blind them. That people who don't think anything a, a, a big deal of what's going on in the country. And so uh, what happened, there are so much stuff going on in the country. And what we say is not gossip. We have a proof. We have a proof. Many people contact me every day via our website, via our uh, media channel, they contact us, they say, we are being killed, we are dying. Uh, and so uh, there is a group of elites. They have built Rwanda, they made it look like the West. And so when people go there, visit that little part of the country, the city of Kigali, they think, wow, this is a developed country. This is a wonderful country. But it's like you visiting a tomb outside it looks beautiful you look at the beauty outside you admire but you need to open it and see what's inside so it happened that mr boris johnson he began to connect with rwanda god raised the pastor god raised up bishop they warned they said this is not a good association but Mr. Boris Johnson and his cabinet, they will not listen to anybody. So they decided anyone who is seeking asylum, anyone who comes to UK as a refugee, they're not going to keep in the country. They are going to send them to Rwanda. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a place where we fled from. This is a, place, this is a country that is cursed. Because they, they've been killing for over 30 years. My friend, it's a very serious. And in that country, we need help. It's a country that is opened like a hell. Uh, God knows what is going on in that country. And God is going to show it one day. I am telling you what is going on in that country. If the whole world doesn't wake up, <laughs> they will rule the whole world. But thanks to God, people are waking up. So when, anyways, uh, when Boris Johnson and uh, his party uh, decided to do such a shameful thing, they were warned, but they would not listen. And on top of this, they heard the Common Wealth Summit. Uh, it's called the Chogam. They here there's a country among all of the countries all over the world 
They held the summit inside the Rwanda. This is a country where Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, Freedom House, and many other uh, organizations that fight uh, for human rights, judicial watches, many, many organizations. This is a country where they said they are killing people, they are destroying lives. Even our U.S. State Department say, stay away, it's not a good place. They are really destroying, they do not respect the human right. Imagine a country where they tell you what to wear. Imagine a country where you do not have the right to work in your own field and plant the seeds you want in your field. Imagine a country where you plant, let's say, corn in your own field. You sweat, you spend time doing that. But when the harvest time comes, you are not even allowed to have one corn to eat. You take everything to the government. That is the country we are talking to you about. It's worse than in North Korea. It's worse than in China. And so among all the places, Mr. Boris Johnson, UK, they went and they held the Commonwealth Summit, I think about two weeks ago. We warned, we say, please do not do it. Because while they were doing it on this street, two blocks down the street, there are safe houses. A few blocks away, they are killing people inside the prisons, inside the camps of slaughter. We want, if you look at my post, June 21, after everything has been ignored, I posted that UK will be judged like never before. I'm not the only one. Even if you are not a prophet, you sense it, you know. And they went, they held the summit in Rwanda. It looks like they had a wonderful time. And in the midst of all that being in Rwanda, the prime minister's own MPs, uh, ministers, great, great, great people working for administration, they began to resign one by one. Because God spoke and he said, cursed is everyone who is going to Rwanda right now. Cursed is everyone who is shaking hands with the government that is kidnapping people, but they will not listen. We warned, we warned, we warned, but now look what has happened. Boris Johnson has resigned. The judgment of God has begun. A beautiful country, but when you do not use discernment this day, you will be sold up by the enemy. Uh, even uh, many, many, many people warned. Many people warned. But do you know the sad thing? What the Lord spoke to me this morning? It's not over. It's not over. We're going to see more. When they were in Rwanda, Boris Johnson gave the chairmanship of Commonwealth, guess to who? <laughs> they handed it over to Mr. Kagame, the guy who is behind all these killings. Oh yes, I can say it. I have a proof more than enough that will shake you, that will shake the whole world. They took common wealth and they gave it to a destroyer. And so Kagame, if God is willing, he's gonna be the chairman of common wealth for the next two years. <laughs> it's like taking your kingdom and giving it over to the enemy, to the devil. 
So Commonwealth, what are coming to Commonwealth? Number one, Boris Johnson, of course, is stepping it down. The judgment has begun, but it's not stopping it dead. What is going to happen to you, UK? Do not think that Russia is sleeping. Russia is eyeing you. They're going to attack you. They're going to attack you. The only thing that can stop the attack is repentance, genuine repentance, corporate repentance that will be done with all these politicians who are sleeping. They need to wake up. They need to know what's happening in the world. They need to know that the devil is here and he wants to destroy. If they do not wake up, if they do not see, they are going to shake their hands with the devil. And when they shake the hand with the devil, that's it. They'll be down. He, you give him an inch, he's going to take the whole place. He's going to take a whole mile. So, uh, common worth, if you do not repent, you're going to be under. You have given the leadership to someone who is very anointed to sink the ship. Who is going to sink the ship? I see Commonwealth as an organization that is right now inside the Titanic ship. And if things are not corrected soon, the boat is going to sink. These things are written. My friend, it's not only for UK, but everywhere you are, you need to know these are the times where you cannot make a mistake of following the wrong person. Right now, if you follow the wrong person, what's going to happen? You will both sink. It's written in Matthew chapter 15, verse 14. It says, Let them alone. They are blind guides of the blind. And if a blind man guides a blind man, both will fall into a pit. God is telling us, you my people. You need to be careful who you follow. You need to be careful who is your preacher. You need to be careful who is your mentor. You need to be careful who you associate with. You do not know the people. You have not tested their fruits. You just met them and all of a sudden you fall in love with them. Oh yeah. They have a beautiful fruit. They have a beautiful smile. They have developed the country. The country is beautiful. It's very clean. Well, that's the whitewashed tomb. You need to touch. You need to dig. You need to see what's inside. These are the time where God is saying, even you Christians, even you good people, if you do not slow down and exercise your discernment, you are going to fall. I tell you, Boris Johnson is not a bad guy. He's a fighter. He's a wonderful man. But look at his policies in the past when he had the common sense. But by associating with the wrong crowd, by making stupid decisions without prayer, without godly counsel, it is where it is today. Yes, these are the days of the end where even the elects, they will be, they will be deceived if they do not use discernment. And it is this that we just read in Matthew 15, 20, uh, 14, the blind guides are the Pharisees. And God is saying, do not follow the blind guides. You have a religion. You love that religion. But you do not even take a minute to read the Bible and to see who you are following. The other day, a 
friend is said to have gone to hell. When they went to hell, this is a true story, and I believe it. They saw the founder of Jehovah Witness in hell. They saw the founder of Jehovah Witness in hell. Guess what? When the man came out, he made a report about it, which many people took and started giving it to the Jehovah Witness. And when we give it to the Jehovah Witness, there are many who came out. But there are others who say, no, we will still believe. We will still do this. Well, the Bible is telling you, if you follow someone, who is shedding blood, you automatically become a murderer. It's a sin by association. If you associate with a, someone who abuses human rights and command people to be kidnapped, command people to be killed, command people to be jailed for no reason, and you associate with them, the Bible is telling you, you also will share in their punishment. When they go to hell, that's what will happen to you. You will also go to hell. You can say, I'm a Christian. I am a good person. I go to prayer. That is not going to save you. You need to read the book. You need to know who you are following. You need to see what they are doing. Is this good in the sight of God or not? And when you see it's not good, you need to divorce them, baby. You need to say bye-bye. I am out of here. Hallelujah. These are the days when we cannot make a kind of mistake where we follow blindly. No, the people who mentor you. No, the people who teach you. Do they have love? Are they having good deeds? Because the fruit will tell who is who. So these are the day of the end time where people of God, beautiful people of God, we need to be careful about false teachings, about false prophets. You need to be careful about the people who only give you compliments, who give you only grace message. They never talk about hell. They never talk about Satan. These are the days where you need to know God, but you also need to know how the enemy works. And you need to warn your friends, your family, your children. You need to warn everyone who is all around you. So what has happened in the UK is the judgment of God. It has begun, but it's just the beginning. God is calling the nation of UK to humble themselves, to take the knee, to repent, and to really mend their ways, and to separate themselves from the ungodly. Let's pray for you, okay? Uh, let's pray for even Boris Johnson and everyone, because when Jonah preached, and in any repented, God relented the calamity he was going to bring upon that nation. Hallelujah. Father, we lift up UK before you. We lift up Boris Johnson before you. This is a beautiful country which the enemy wants to take, which the enemy wants to possess. But we pray, God, that you move mightily, that you save the people, that you move upon the heart of the leader of UK, and that you move with your spirit of repentance, and you help them to see. God will help them to see, but God will not obey on their behalf. And I see a great number of people who are in a covenant, uh, with the enemy knowingly or unknowingly, what we ask God is that you burn every chain and you expose every lie of the enemy and that you help your people to see and we pray strength 
We win them that they are. We pray this prayer for everyone, everywhere. Even if the UK is being judged, United States will be also judged and many nations of the earth. My friend, these are the time to turn back to God. These are the time to seek God and get to know him because he's a wonderful God. Hallelujah. And when we turn back to him, who knows, maybe he will relent from the judgment that he is bringing on the earth. My friend, until we meet again, uh, stay discerning. May God protect you. May God bless you. I pray for God to hear you. If you're sick, just lift up your hands. I command healing to overtake you and sickness to flee right now in the name of Jesus. And all the people who repent, good things are going to happen in your life. Until we meet again, remember that the joy of the Lord shall be your strength. Smile and be happy.